Scarlet the Cat to the Rescue, Fire Hero, by Nancy Lowen, illustrated by Kristen Sora. March 29, 1996, Brooklyn, New York. East New York was a troubled neighborhood. Run-down buildings and trash-filled lots were all around. Amidst falling snow, the broken city landscape was cold and wet. In this grim setting, a young cat became a hero to people around the world. Just before dawn, in an abandoned garage, a young mama cat curled up with her five kittens. The cat was thin and cold. Still, she purred as her kittens nursed. Whoosh! What was that sound? Crackling flames appeared in the corner. A sharp, stinging smell filled the air. The mama cat crouched over her kittens. A low growl filled her throat. The mama cat was used to protecting herself from stray dogs and cats and sometimes even mean kids who threw rocks. But this enemy was different. There was nothing to scratch or bite. The danger was all around. Her kittens! She had to get them out. Roughly, she picked up the closest one by the scruff of its neck and ran with it out of the garage. She dropped the kitten at the side of the building next door. Then she ran like a streak back into the smoke and flames. Out on the street, sirens blared. Soon, the area was filled with firefighters and bystanders. No one noticed when a skinny cat with singed ears dropped off a second kitten and then went back for another and another and another. When the fire was under control, a firefighter named David Gianelli heard a sound he wasn't expecting. He looked around, listening hard. There they were, three tiny kittens. <coughs> David put the kittens safely into a box. Then he found another kitten at the curb and one more on the ground a few yards away. David figured that the kittens must have been carried out of the burning building by their mother. And what a mother she was! David had a lot of experience rescuing animals. He knew that when cats are faced with fire, they usually hide for as long as they can. At the last moment, they make a mad dash for safety. But this cat had gone into a burning building over and over again. David began searching for the mama cat. Finally, he found her across the street in a vacant lot. Her eyes were blistered shut. Her face was mostly bare skin. Her paws were badly burned. Large patches of fur had been singed off her body. She was barely alive. Carefully, David placed the cat in the box with her kittens. Though the mama cat couldn't see, she touched each one of her babies with her nose. It was as if she was counting them to make sure they were all there. David drove the cat and her kittens through the snowy streets to the North Shore Animal League in Port Washington, New York. The staff was ready and waiting. They gave the cats fluids and medicine and put salve on burned skin. Then they put the entire cat family into a special tent filled with oxygen. The cat's lungs had been hurt by smoke, and the oxygen would help them breathe. As a stray, the mama cat probably hadn't been around people very much, yet she seemed to trust the staff to take care of her and her kittens. Very soon, the brave mama cat received a name, Scarlet. She was named after the determined main character in the Civil War story, Gone with the Wind. The news of Scarlet's courage spread quickly. That very morning, local reporters and photographers filled the clinic. 
Then the story went out into the city, nation, and even the world. People everywhere were inspired by what this young street cat had done for her kittens. Scarlet lived at the clinic for three months as her injuries healed. She loved attention, and everyone loved her. The kittens moved to a foster home, but came back a couple of times to visit their mother. One kitten, a white one named Toasty, died from a virus about a month after the fire. Two of the other kittens became sick, too, but they got better. Thousands of people wrote letters to the clinic, offering to take Scarlet or her kittens. The staff carefully read each letter. They thought about keeping Scarlet and her kittens together, but that would be a lot of cats for one family. Besides, the kittens were older now. They didn't need their mother anymore. So the kittens were divided into pairs and sent to live with two loving families from Long Island. But what about Scarlet? Who would provide just the right home for this amazing cat? One day, the staff read a letter from a woman named Karen Wellen. Karen lived with her parents in their roomy three-story home in Brooklyn. Someone would always be around to care for Scarlet. That was important because Scarlet would need eye drops every day for the rest of her life. Karen wrote that after losing her own cat and being hurt in a car accident, she'd become a more caring person. If she ever got another cat, she wanted it to be one with special needs. It was the perfect match. The skinny cat who used to search for food in the streets now had regular meals. She had plenty of soft places to sleep and windows that let in the light. She had three people to give her all the love she deserved. And every day, Karen's mother sang a well-known song to Scarlet. It was called, You Are So Beautiful. The rest of the world would agree.